In this video, we're going to take a look at solving equations with rational exponents. Rational exponents, of course, are exponents that have fractions in them. And remember, when we're asked to solve something, we just want to get that variable by itself. So that idea will hold true as we take a look at these. In order to deal with a rational exponent, if we remember that when we raise a power to a power, we multiply those exponents, we want to clear this out of there. And if we were to raise it to the 2 thirds power, take a look at what happens. When we multiply those exponents, we have 3 times 2 over 2 times 3, which would be 6 over 6, which is just 1. Oh, perfect. That's the x all by itself. So then we've got that. Now, of course, when we're solving equations, we always have to do the stuff on both sides. You've got to keep things fair, otherwise uh, things get crazy in our equations. So we're going to take this side to the 2 thirds power as well. Remember how rational exponents work. We have the roots in the ground. So right here, that 3, I'm going to take the third root of 27, which is going to be 3. And then I've got the squared up there yet, so we've got 3 squared, and 3 squared, of course, is 9, and we end up with x equals 9. All right, let's take a look at this one over here. Getting a little bit more comp complicated, but I think the same idea might get us through here. So we can't get at any of the stuff that's inside these parentheses until we deal with this exponent. So let's just start by getting rid of that exponent. So we're going to raise this side right here to the 3 fifths power. Notice again that those exponents are going to multiply and be 15 over 15 or 1. So that's gone, just like we wanted. And then we're going to do the same thing over here to the 3 fifths power. And then I just go ahead and do those calculations. So the fifth root of 3,125 is 5. And then we've got 5 to the third power sitting there. And 5 to the third power, of course, is 125. So I'm just going to go over here, 125. And that's equal to the parentheses are gone, the exponent's gone. We have negative 1 minus 18p. Then we're going to add 1. And this is just a good old-fashioned uh, equation that we can solve. You've probably done lots of these before. So we have 126 equals negative 18p. And then, of course, divide by negative 18 on both sides, and we end up with negative 7 equals p. Okay, And then, of course, we could always plug that back in and make sure that it works. And if you don't trust me, you can give that a try yourself. All right, then, this one right here, we've got the exponent, but we've got some other stuff we need to deal with here first. If we were to try and get rid of that exponent right away by taking the whole thing to the reciprocal power, then we're going to make a mess on this part here. And we don't want to do that. We want to isolate the part that's being taken to that exponent first. So let's get rid of this 10. And to do that, we'll subtract 10 on both sides. There we go. Negative 54 minus 10 gets us negative 64. And that's equal to, let's see what's left over here. Don't lose that negative. That's really important. So negative, and then we've got m minus 10 to the 3 halves power. And then we still have that negative to deal with. So to get rid of that, I'm just going to divide both sides by negative 1. Divide by negative 1. We end up with 64 equals. Now I've just got this thing left in the parentheses there. So we have m minus 10 to the 3 halves power, then now we can finally get rid of that exponent because we've isolated the thing that's being taken to that exponent. So when we do that, we're going to go ahead, take that whole thing to the 2 thirds power. Again, notice those are gone. That's what we want. We're going to do the same thing over here. So this will be to the 2 thirds power. Then Roots are in the ground, so the third root of 64 is just 4. I'm going to swing over here and tuck this in. So we have 4 squared equals, now we've gotten rid of all this stuff. We're left with just m minus 10. And then 4 squared, of course, is 16 equals m minus 10. And then we, sub we, huh, we add 10 on both sides, and that will give us m equals 26. Okay, so solving equations with rational exponents, remember a power to a power we multiply the exponents. That's the key because then when we multiply by that reciprocal, 
those will cancel out. We'll just have one for the exponent, and then we can work to get that variable by itself. Make sure that we isolate the thing that's being taken to the exponent. Don't try and jump in and take the whole thing because then you'll really get a mess. And remember, you can always plug your answers back in to check. Keep working hard on your math. I hope this video was helpful. You can do this.